Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be recommending 7 kind of lip products that you can find either in high-end or drugstore that will be mask friendly during this time where we all have to wear some sort of facial mask when we go out so even if you guys are like flaunting the rules guys just want to give you a friendly reminder that is highly encouraged to wear a mask because it's better to be safe than sorry but let's just get into the video right now these are my top picks for kind of lip products that I don't want to give it a full claim to say it's 100% transfer proof simply because if you have any sort of like lip products before like a lip mask or a lip balm that you haven't fully removed or even saliva this will alter the formulation but if you're talking about you know bare clean lips these are really going to be products that are pretty transfer proof so let's just get into the first product okay so i'm just going to talk about the regular lipstick formulation and these are from mac cosmetics there are two formulations that you should check out their retro matte which is really really mattifying as well as their regular matte formulation so these three shades are the ones that i would recommend because i really do like that bold shade when it comes to these but also if it isn't you know wearing a mask for that reason these are really good formal occasion lipsticks so the first one would be the classic ruby woo which is their retro matte formulation it's a bold red it really isn't going to be a super creamy lipstick so it might feel a little bit drying but don't be afraid of it just go straight in if you really need to warm it up warm it up at the back of your head and then apply it with a clean finger but this is their retro matte formula another retro matte formula would be all fired up which is another red but it's a blue base red I think they're both actually blue base red but one is a little bit more of a pinky red so I really do like these two for formal occasions because they're like my go-to when it comes to a red lip and this is the matte formula in the shade Meh M-E-H-R and it's a kind of deeper kind of a nude shade but it comes on the Mo family so it's a little bit more purple in undertone but it's their matte formula so it's a little bit more comfortable but it also is pretty transfer resistant if you really want something that's going to be solid go for their ultra matte all right from matte cosmetics as well this is also in the retro matte kind of finish which is a really ultra matte finish it's their liquid lipsticks and these three colors i would highly recommend this one is called tailored to tease which is like a really beautiful purple this is a bright peach mademoiselle it's a really beautiful peach that works well if you want to do the ombre lip and this is feel so grand which is actually pretty much like ruby woo but in a liquid lipstick formula the difference between this retro matte formula is that it's going to completely dry matte and it's not even going to give you a, a budge like it's really going to set and not move i would say that when it comes to this kind of liquid lipsticks which i don't typically wear anymore it's because it's pretty hard to reapply but if you really want something that's fully budge proof go for any liquid lipstick formula i would say that you know sometimes in the drugstore you have to be a bit careful because some of them claim to be liquid lipsticks but they don't really dry down to a full matte but for most kind of high-end quality especially MAC cosmetics these dry down and they are really really there to stay and they won't get off your lips so these I would recommend also another high-end option would be from Fenty Beauty they are liquid lipsticks these are a little bit more runny in texture so when they come out straight from the bullet it's gonna be a little bit more wet fret not it's gonna dry down to a solid matte because it is a liquid lipstick formula I would recommend this unattached which is this really fun kind of summery pink and also unbuttoned which is a really beautiful nude the packaging is also super beautiful and the doe foot applicator gives you a pretty precise edge but i would say that is a learning curve with this because it isn't like your standard lip gloss tube it's kind of rounded at the top but just kind of ring around the edge to get the excess product off and just line your lips as per usual but these are really beautiful formula i pretty much prefer this to the MAC Cosmetics one in terms of the liquidness because it's easier for me to get an even coating rather than smoothing over a thick cream but there is a learning curve with the applicator but this also does dry down to a really solid matte okay since we're talking about liquid lipsticks this is from Colourpop actually their blotted lip formula I know some people might think why didn't you go for the regular matte I have so much Colourpop products actually I just cleared out my whole collection in terms of like streamlining it 
and I didn't get rid of any of the blotted lip formula. I'm actually wearing one of them now, which is in the shade Holy Lolly. And this is only described as a shearable liquid lipstick because it comes out really pigmented but once you rub it against your lips and kind of blend it all around, it becomes pretty sheer but it still sets down to a mattifying finish like a liquid lipstick would. So it's a really interesting formula. If you play around with it, you can actually get different lip effects instead of just a full solid colour. So I really like these and it gives you that marshmallow lip really easily. I would recommend these colours. This one's called Halo Effect. Another one called Holy Lolly, which is what I'm wearing now. And also Just a Crush, which is this super bright summery pink. Alright, from Nude 6, this is their Magnetic Matte Lip Colour. This, in terms of applicator, is the best because it's obviously a pencil and it's just really easy to sharpen and get a crisp edge. The thing I love about this is the shade selection. It has super beautiful nude shades. So I picked these colours. The first one would be Boho, which is a really rich brownish nude. And another one would be Sonoren, which is a deep chocolate brown and also this really deep burgundy shade and I picked the darker colours because these are so beautiful to apply as precision shades because they are a pencil but also surprisingly it's really rare to find pencil formats that are super mattifying because they typically need to have some creaminess because they do dry out pretty quickly but these are super mattifying and they are really beautiful on the lips and so pigmented. I find that this formula also works surprisingly well on the eyes which is what I did. I actually applied Sorena on my eyes and yeah they are super good multi-purpose products so I highly recommend you check these out. Alright the last two are from the drugstore. This is from Revlon. This is their cushion lip tints and as lip tints go they're not going to be mattifying in terms of its eventual finish but it does stain the lips so how I recommend you apply this would be to apply it full on or apply it however you like and then dab off the additional moisture on the lips and leave the tint on your lips that way you'll get it to be transfer proof the interesting thing about these from Revlon is that it comes with this cushion tip applicator so it gives you that mobility to really shear it out and press it into the lips without actually using your fingers but also it gives you that marshmallow lip effect which is the way that you can achieve the ombre lip so I typically like to layer like maybe these two colors in the red family this is the shade 260 and 250 and I apply this all over the lips and I use the lighter shade in the center to give me that kind of ombre lip effect and then I dab off the extra kind of moisture so I'm left with a tint and a tint is another way to go if you want that transfer proof lipstick because it basically stains your lips and it's not going anywhere but it also feels loads more hydrating than a liquid lipstick. Alright last but not least from Bourjois, these I would say are a little bit, it will transfer a little bit but it's the most comfortable in terms of a kind of lipstick format that is going to dry down to be a matte but it is more velvety a more soft matte finish so it does feel a little bit creamy it will transfer a little bit but what I love about these is the shade selection as well as the finish the finish is really going to be not just looking velvety it also feel super comfortable on the lips and it's just something that doesn't tug or pull doesn't make the cracks on your lips accentuate so it's a really comfortable kind of a soft matte finish these are the shades I would recommend 09 a beautiful raspberry a deeper raspberry pink 16 which is a chocolate brown and 1.5 which is my perfect nude shade so I really really like these from Bourjois as well. Alright so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on 7 lip products that will be mask transfer proof and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to share with your family and friends, like this video and also let me know if you guys picked up any of these products and yes I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!